Welcome to Akshara Foundation's video on single and two digit multiplication using base 10 blocks, play money and counters in Akshara's maths kit. Base 10 blocks have yellow cubes which represent units. A blue rod represents 10 units or 110. A green plate represents 100 units or 100. A red cube represents 1000 units or 1000. Let us multiply 21 by 3. Remind students that multiplication is repeated addition. Represent 21 three times. Join the ones. We have three ones. Now join the tens. We have six tens. The product is 63. Here 21 is the multiplicand. 3 is the multiplier and 63 is the product. Grouping by tens is very simple with money. Once we have ten ones, we group them and replace them with one ten rupee note which is placed in the tens place. Similarly, we group ten tens and replace them with one hundred rupee note. Ten hundreds can be replaced by one thousand rupee note. Let students try 164 multiplied by 4 as repeated addition using play money. Represent 164 4 times. Starting from the units place, join the 1s. Regroup 16 1s as 110 and 6 1s. Repeat the same for the 10s. Regroup the 10s. Carry over 2 groups of 100s. And we have five tens remaining. Join the hundreds. Together we get six hundreds, five tens, and six ones, giving us a product of six hundred and fifty six. Now, why do we say that multiplication is also a rectangle? For example, in the case of five multiplied by three, the multiplicand five forms the columns and the multiplier 3 forms the rows. The product is 15. 3 multiplied by 5 is 5 rows with 3 in each row. Again, the product is 15. Also a rectangle. So when we multiply, the product is a rectangle. The size of the rectangle depends on the value of the multiplicand and the multiplier. This concept will be helpful to students later when doing geometry. Let us use the area method to multiply 11 by 9. Represent the multiplicand 11 and the multiplier 9 as two sides of a rectangle. 11 is 10 plus 1. Represent it with one rod of 10 and one yellow cube. Represent 9 with 9 cubes or units. Place the multiplication sign in the corner, taking care that the multiplicand and the multiplier do not overlap. Fill the rectangle with suitable blocks. Now it is time to move the multiplicand and the multiplier away from the product. What do we have here? 9 rods and 9 yellow cubes. That is 99, which is the product. Now let us multiply 12 by 13. 12 is also 10 plus 2. And 13 is 10 plus 3. These are two sides of the rectangle. Fill the rectangle with suitable base 10 blocks. 10 multiplied by 10 makes a square of 100. Count the tens and count the units. Remove the multiplicand and the multiplier and we get the product which is 156. This way we can explain the multiplication concept using just paper and pencil. Check whether students know that when any number is multiplied by 10, the product is the original number with a zero placed after it. For example, 5 multiplied by 10 is equal to 50 and 7 multiplied by 10 is equal to 70. 
13 multiplied by 10 is equal to 130 and so on. Similarly, any number multiplied by 100 gives the product, which is the original number with two zeros placed after it. So 5 multiplied by 100 is 500. 7 multiplied by 100 is 700. 13 multiplied by 100 is 1300 and so on. Let students try 14 multiplied by 12 using the grid method. Understanding the grid concept will help students transition to long multiplication. Point out that 8 is the area of a rectangle whose sides are 4 and 2. That 20 is the product of a rectangle whose sides are 10 and 2. Similarly, we arrive at 40 and 100. Add products horizontally first. We get 140 and 28. Now add these vertically. We get 168, which is the final product. Students must move to the abstract stage, which is long multiplication. 14 multiplied by 12 can be written in two ways. Start multiplication from the unit's place. Multiply the units of the multiplier with the units of the multiplicand to get 8. Next, 2 multiplied by 110 is 2 tens, which is written in the tens place. We now have 28. Now, let's move to multiplying by 1 of the multiplier. 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. And 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. So we have 140. Adding these, we get the product, 168. The multiplication grid works for a three-digit number. For example, 105 multiplied by 5. The number 105 can be expanded as 100 plus 0 tens plus 5 units. Here, Students should keep in mind the rules of multiplying by 0 and 100. Start multiplying by 5. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. 5 multiplied by 0 is 0. And 5 multiplied by 100 is 500. On adding, we get the product 525. Give students a real-life situation. If one bus ticket costs 28 rupees, how much will it cost to buy 34 tickets? 4 multiplied by 8 is 32. 4 multiplied by 20 is 80. Next, 30 multiplied by 8 is 240. A small tip will help your students with 20 multiplied by 30. First, write the two zeros in the answer. Then, 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6. So, 20 multiplied by 30 is 600. 600 plus 240 is 840. And 80 plus 32 is 112. The total is 952. Students can now try 346 multiplied by 14. Remind students to start multiplying with the number in the unit's place. After mastering the multiplication facts, students will confidently transition to long multiplication using multiplication tables. Here are some multiplication problems which students can do in groups. Solving multiplication problems in their textbooks can now be fun for your students.